guys might know on process i was super stoked about the last track i mean in general you might know on process because like they've been around for a while it's manual who does a lot of instagram stuff but he does he's he's the chicka 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 guy and uh i've i've talked with manual he's great i did a video with him he's fucking sick he also sings really well it's very like math rocky and all that and they released that last track that had the lo-fi breakdown thing. It was so cool. I loved it. I think it's awesome. So I don't know what they got now. I just wanted to check it out. Did you know that 82% um, of you aren't fucking subscribed? This is... Hit the button. Why do you hate things? Have fun. We got an eight string. We got my nose. This one sounds quite full of you. Slapping the bass. I'm not The bassist missed that drop by a second. Best modern metal <laughs> True. The comment of the day. This part almost sounds like a load. It just had more distortion. Bloodbath. Of course. Tugs sound really funny. That effect, the effect sounds like a, yeah, it's like a quack. What was this? That was almost loathe. Like it had like a loathe vibe. It was just like, what is the the tone is weird. Such a weird tone for this. It's cool. It's different. That's some, oh, that's some 8503. 
Oh, that sucks. Oh, my fuck. We're finishing the song and then we're dialing back that motherfucker to that solo. That was a, that was a, a sexy guitar solo. That was a sexy guitar solo. This is a cool idea to end it on this, too. This is the main melody, main motif again. Looks like he has five fingers in the fretboard, dude. So fucking wild. Where's that solo? That, that solo was the best part of the song. That solo was so fucking tasty. That was such a good solo. Dummy good. Dummy thing. Right there, dude. He's spider hands, brother. Oh, that was, that was one of the best solos of the year. Literally one of the best guitar solos of the year. That was sick. I like. That's the thing. Like, there's like. Nick Band's new solo is just not in core. What do you never listen? Yeah, yeah like, sure, there's death metal fucking solos that do the. Like, you know, like, a fucking, I've heard it in Guitar Center a million times. Like, I got you. Thank you. I can do a minor arpeggio too. Like, <laughs> yes, I understand. There's a lot of cool, like, there's there's solos in metal and bands doing solos. Um, a lot of them just sound like Guitar Center solos, I'm going to be honest. There's, there's not many solos in core, and it's like tasty, and it's not just non-stop shredding just for the sake of fucking shredding i just love it bro it's like so nice you know mixing it in a little bit of spice a solo is it, it's gotta tell a story bro when i talk guitar I, I, I would teach the same thing like a solo bro it's a story it's got a, a beginning a middle and an end it's got climactic moments it's got dynamics it comes in and out different different things different techniques every that's why i hate writing solos because there's so much work every note has to matter you hear the solo on Termina? Yeah. That, I fucking, it was a lot. That's why one of the solos is a boomer solo. And then the solo I spent so much time on was everything, nothing. Because I had to make every note matter. And still, like, so, something like this is fucking, like, it blows it out of, out of the park. And it's so cool when there's, like, just, like, a sick fucking solo with mods, chromaticism, different techniques. It doesn't feel fucking boring. Every note actually matters. Like, it's so sick, man. I, I, I think it's, I, I thought that was great. Yeah, Lil Wayne does the best solos. Mm -hmm.